Hello everyone, I hope all is well. Today I will be helping you with the 39th problem of the chapter 5 problem set. And so basically what I will help you with is um, how to answer all these. So you have A which says analyze the data to calculate the ratio of the fraction of unsaturated to the fraction of saturated fatty acids in the plasma membrane and complete the table. So basically they have the ratio which is U divided by S, so unsaturated divided by saturated. And so what I found is for the first box, you'll have 32 over 18. For the second box, you'll have 29 over 20. And then you'll have 27 over 22. And then you'll have 11 over 32, right? And then B is asking you to graph it, right? So when graphing these numbers, we would want... Um, uh, so it says uh, graph these points on the axis, right? So then um, we'd have the U.S. Uh, growth temperature. So you'd have the, the rate right here, and then you'd have the temperature, right? And so what you have right here is you'd have the growth temperature, which would be 10, and then you have 20, and then you have 30, and then you have 40. So at 10, you have 32 divided by 18, which would be about 1.7. So let's put 1.7 here. And then for uh, 20, you'd have 29 divided by 20, which is 1.45. So that would be a little below, like right here. And then you have 27 divided by 22, right? So that's 1.22, which is even lower. So it would be around here. And then you have 11 divided by 32, which is a uh, point. Uh, three four so you'd probably be hover so i'm just going to mark this with a red dot you'll probably be somewhere around here and so if we graph this right it's basically regressing downwards and it probably go more like that right so and then you have um the next question which is part c which says explain the response of e coli to the temperature of the environment and so for me i said that e coli were unsaturated uh, the E. coli that were unsaturated fats began to lose the amount of fatty acid as the temperature grew. And then alternatively, the E. coli that were saturated fats gained more fatty acids in the membrane as the temperature increased, right? So that's what I did. And then for D, I said, uh, it says, uh, explain how the discovery of the mutant strain of E. coli could lead to this insight. So I said, the mutant strain, when put under different temperature, could demonstrate the actions of the unbending and bonding of double bonds, which would then indicate the uh, unsaturated and, and saturated fats. So I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.